It will rain today in Mbire and the crops will be watered. But what about tomorrow? Farmers in this district of eastern Kenya constantly battle drought conditions in order to grow their food. And they don't know when the next dry spell will arrive. Take Justin and Trufena Ireri. They face unpredictable weather patterns, which have in the past made life extremely difficult. We rely on the crops that we harvest to pay for the education of our children, to send our children to the hospitals when they are sick. So when there is a poor judgment of the weather, and then we find ourselves in crisis, the crops have dried up because the weather was poorly judged, or there was no information on the weather, it actually becomes very painful and frustrating for a mother or for a family, looking at the children when they are looking at you and you've got nothing to offer to them. In eight of the last 10 years, Kenya has experienced serious drought and with drought comes rising food prices. Not knowing in advance what might happen with the weather has made farming precarious. The problem that we farmers in this area experience, we don't have access to the information on the weather forecast. There's been a problem of getting not the correct information. We may be told it will rain tonight, but we wait for the rains it reveals because the information was collected from another different zone, from the zone we come from. Broadcast weather forecasts often cover too wide an area to be of local use. In one community, it could be raining, while in another village, just a 45 minute drive away, there might be no rain at all. But the Sustainable Agriculture Livelihoods Initiative, Sally, supported by Christian Aid, has found a way to solve the problem, mobile phone technology. The spread of mobile phones in Kenya is remarkable. It's thought that over 80% of families in rural areas own a mobile phone, and Sally's innovative project makes good use of that. The weather forecasts sent out by the Met Office are received in Mbire and rewritten simply in the local language, and then the information is sent out to the farmer groups by text message. These localised forecasts are crucial in deciding what crops to plant or when to harvest or which weather-borne diseases to look out for. And the service means the farmers can text back any questions they have or share their experiences, if they have a pest problem, for example. Yesterday I received a text from Sari Project informing me that there will be rain showers after seven days. So I have decided to put the fertilizers because of that message. We are very confident that if this process of SMS goes on, within a very short time, we shall be able to get at least almost half of the household. That message system, we are going to reach so many people, and it will have a very, very positive impact as far as production and planning of activities concerned. The project has already had positive results for Justin and Trufena, and they plan to share their knowledge with other communities. Here in Kenya, we are very grateful to the communities in the UK who have learned the secret of giving. We trust in God that the results of whatever you are doing will be seen and we will glorify God together. <laughs>